hazards may exist and are at your own risk. So you can open up everything, you can look at it, you can get up on it and check it out, but you're doing it at your own risk. $10 a person to get in. Hi everyone, this is Tigner Adventures and we are here at the Cloud Museum. And you think I was by myself. I'm the only one in the view here. What yeah. happened to all my friends? <laughs> we have lots of friends. What are you doing over there? You're a friend, get over here. <laughs> so uh, you guys have met uh, Todd and Ann before. And you met Michael and Suzanne before. Oh, and there's uh, Lily is here with us today. And then right back here on, what side is that on the camera anyway? That's um, with, uh, See, we're trying to get the camera over here. Oh, this way. That's right. Okay, we got Suzanne or um, Tammy and and Scott uh, Fox. So they're new on here. We've never had them on our channel before. Scott actually runs a um, little. We call that a vlog, right? A vlog. Yeah, it's a blog. Blog. So anyway, he does an article every uh, week about about yeah. except when he's on a cruise about, or about, something. I, I tell stories. <laughs> And sometimes I even do show and tell. Yeah. It's great. So anyway, what's the name of your um, blog? FoxRVTravel.com. Fox, FoxRVTravel.com. So you want to check out their uh, their blog because he, between him and uh, Tammy, they take a lot of great pictures. Thank you. Does she ever use or does he use your pictures? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, because Nine Nine always complains I don't use hers. <laughs> So, anyway, today we're going to check out this Cloud Museum. So the Cloud Museum uh, has been around here for quite a while. It's got over 120 vintage vehicles, all different kinds of things. Probably the largest collection of Model Ts in the world. Cloud Museum, wonder what's inside, over 200 Model Ts and A's, restored vehicles and buildings, gas pumps, farm equipment, engines, bicycles. It looks like they got a little bit of everything. This is just coming in the gate here. Just taking a little gander around before we go up and uh, get our admission. Wow, look at all this stuff. We're going to check it all out. I'm here with Johnny Cloud, who is the guy that put this all together. So it looks like a lot of work. Well, I've been doing it for 33 years. So and this is your little hobby. It's just a hobby. That's cool. It's $10 to get in. Yes. What a deal. Over 200 over, odds and ends. Over 200 vehicles. Vehicles. Plus a lot of other odds and ends. Wow, you got quite the, the showing here. We are, where are we actually? We're, just, We're uh, in Bard Valley. We're just north of Yuma, Arizona, 10 miles north of Yuma. Okay, so pretty darn close. And considering we've been here for four years now, it's amazing. This is the first time we've actually come out here. Although I have to say, we have had a lot of people that have said you got to go see the Cloud Museum. Well, They've thank been very you. impressed with it. So you um, do a good job here. We're pretty excited to come and see it. Oh, well, good. Okay, so we are looking around. Got to see if there's any of these that I've actually ridden in. <laughs> so let's see. Look at all these tractors. I know there's got to be at least a tractor here that I've uh, grown up on when I was a young kid working on the ranch all the time. But these look like they're just a little bit too old. Let's check out. Man, look. I think my dad would know what a Model T was, but I have no idea what a Model T or Model A is. So which one was first? Boy, I'm not going to use you guys for history. You're just guessing. <laughs> wow. What an arrangement. This guy has been working on this forever. And he's done a good job. Look, it even has the original tires. Well, as original as you can get, I guess. But hey, they all have tires, they're on blocks. And uh, can you imagine trying to start your vehicle with a crank and everything back in the day? We gotta find one of these that we can actually open up and check out. Look at the engine. First. Oh. It's not like, uh, yeah, see, he volunteered to open that for me because I'd have trouble. So, yeah, you would have uh, trouble with that one. 
Well, let me get the oh, camera. Oh, Susan has another video. Look at this. Oh, she's on video? The original yeah, four-cylinder. Oh. <laughs> even had a belt, Where a water pump. Wow. <laughs> no water pump. Oh, no water pump. No, that's a... <laughs> just a fan. The water fan just cooled the engine off, huh? Yeah. See the... So oh, the head right. rises. <laughs> the hot water rises. The cold water goes down. It's thermal siphoning. There's some gold in oh, there. Oh, wow. Boy, a lot, uh, <laughs> lot more uh, complicated than I thought it was, but nothing compared to today's engines. No. <laughs> so, pretty simple. If you had a problem... Didn't take a lot yeah. to fix it. Look at this wiring work. <laughs> it's amazing how they made all these things work together. Look it's at a... your hands, Snow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. There's a, there's a driving over the... there where you can wash your hands. We are on our way to California. <laughs> are you? Yep. Searching for gold. This is the, um, what was that show? The uh, one the Billy. Billy. <laughs> There you go. Where's your chair in the back? Oh, You're the, you are know. you the grandma? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, I'm going to get in trouble now. <laughs> You're not going to believe this story, but the Beverly Hillbillies, that truck that they drove in there, uh -huh. that was an old car that my grandfather cut down and made a pickup out of it. Oh, and wow. he used it in his apricot orchard to carry his apricots, and the movie outfit bought it from him. Oh, that's oh, so cool. That is pretty cool. Is that here? Cool. No, it's in Hemet, California. Oh. So that's pretty cool. Have you used any other vehicles here? in the shows and things like that? No, none of them have ever been in them. Just, just that one from your father, huh? From my grandfather. From your grandfather. Okay, cool. And he did now. Did he start doing this? Oh no, no, no. no. So I this has just this. been your whole thing yourself. This is mine. Oh, all right, all right. So here's the old crank. You got that? Got to push it in. But you got to push it in. So push it in. Okay, it's latched. Now we're gonna turn it over. Hope it don't start. It won't gonna... start. <laughs> oh, just think you got to turn that fast enough to start it, too. No. Right? Actually, to start it, oh. the help was bigger in those days. You just push it in and you pull it up. Oh. Just like that. Oh. Oh. It will start oh. just like that. It just oh. starts just like that. Huh? Pretty cool. Perfect. Wow. If I put a battery gas in any one of these, will run. Wow. I drove everyone I'm in here personally. Oh, wow. 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 That's, That's impressive. pretty impressive. Even though they're rusty. Did you see the mobile home? <laughs> no. Oh, well, let's go what check out the... Oh, my God. Oh. This is definitely the Beverly Hillbillies. Oh, this is... Wow. Oh, my God. Look at this. Furnish All right, the first RV. <laughs> This is a class A, by first the way. <laughs> yeah, it's got a crapper. Oh, it's got a crapper. <laughs> well, hey, got to have the most important home. thing. Yeah, fully self-contained, so it qualifies for the Sundance. Oh, so look. Cool. Okay, we got the driving area here. Okay. Here we go, Susanna. I'm sneaking around you. Okay. Oh wow! Look at this nice kitchen. Um, <laughs> Here's a dresser. Galvanized pipe. I mean, you don't necessarily see that in RVs anymore. <laughs> look at the kitchen. You got cabinets. Wow! Oh look, there's even some stuff in there. Oh, let's check this out. Yeah, I think uh, Mr. Cloud has been staying in here. This is pretty cool. This is really cool. I mean, when you think of how old, how long it's been and all that. See, this is like the very first RV right look here. Look at this neat closet. Can't all see. this, look at all this. This probably has more storage space than the new units do. So cool. <laughs> and it's got a bunk bed. Look wow. at this closet. That's a big closet. Wow. Big closet. It's kind of interesting. The toilet is to the side of the closet. <laughs> At least they've changed that in the, the newer versions. <laughs> the toilet is next to the bed. Yeah. Oh, actually, let's see. What is the toilet? It, it's a. It's, it's a just hole. a. It's a can. I think someone used it too. <laughs> so Mr. Cloud was just telling us that he drove this here from Parker, Arizona, and uh, and now it's here on display. So look, this was last licensed in 1951. And here's some more of the cars they had. Just, just goes on and on. Quite a selection. And these are the original tires. They are all propped up so that they, 
the tires don't uh, get flattened any more than deteriorated any more than they are. But this is a Model T tow truck. Look, they got a dump truck right there too. I didn't even know they had that many different varieties of Model Ts. All you ever see on TV is just a nice fancy Model T going down the road and they're definitely not rusted. They're all, they're all uh, look brand new in the shows. Ford, and this was last licensed in 1931. All right, so this is one of the buildings. So we're gonna kind of just look in here really quick. Oh. Is that really, wow. <laughs> Michael has found his original coffee mill right here. That's what you want to have in your next shop, right? I'm going to put it in the RV next to the espresso machine. <laughs> yeah, we thought that espresso machine was pretty large. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that original, one of the original slot machines. I remember those, these things in the store when I was a kid. Yeah, nice scale. The old typewriters. <laughs> Look at that, the uh, old barber chair. Wow. So it's a food, food processor? Wow. There's very few of these around. I've, only, I've got three of them. Wow. And I've seen two others. Uh -huh. and one is in, Look at all this in kitchen Airborne, stuff. Michigan in a Ford Museum. Uh -huh. And one's in a restaurant up in Prescott, Arizona. That I saw uh -huh. office in there. Oh, no. This is your dental, dental office? Chair, oh. Chair. Which one? That one? That one doesn't work. Oh, look at that. Oh, maybe. It's a whipper. So what's that other one? Can we... Do you need your teeth pulled? <laughs> There's some stuff in the back cabinet here, there. I think down. we can, uh, here, sit <laughs> here, sit down. Anne's going to take care of it for you. Oh, look, Anne's got a drill. Here, Anne's... <laughs> look, look at this drill. Let's get a better look at this. Let's zoom back in here a little bit. That is something. This. So it is on a pulley thing. Goes to that motor right there. Oh, God. That's, That's how the drill. Team. That's how the drill worked. Wow. All right, well now we're in a little, little one-room house here. A lot of different uh, things. So when you're done working at Sundance, you're going to work at that post office? <laughs> There's another post office out here? Yeah. <laughs> then you're supposed to say that's interesting. That's interesting. Look at this phone. Look at this, November 23rd, 63, death of president. <laughs> that would have been Kennedy. Yeah. Yep, President Kennedy. Wow. Doesn't this look like what I've got now? No. <laughs> the old postmaster post office. Look at the boxes here. Wow. They even had a little cage to stand behind. When people weren't happy with their mail, <laughs> they just come after me now. <laughs> A few wanted posters here in the post office. All right, Ninette found her thing. Not sure this is gonna fit in the rig though, but it's a popcorn, <laughs> popcorn peanut roaster. Popcorn roaster, I guess that means popper. Yeah. <laughs> Old washing machines. I have to do say that I do remember these when I was a kid. <laughs> My mom used to do the wash outside. Look at these old jacks. The thing that just amazes me is the things that we're looking at, like the very first generation of whatevers, but they have taken that and come up with the next generation and the next generation. So a lot of things even today, look a lot like some of this old stuff we're seeing. It's amazing how things really have not changed. Some things haven't changed over the years, and some have changed a lot. This is a nice shed. These are actually in excellent condition. Nice and painted. Cloud Farms. Bard, California, that's where we're at. 
Look, you got all the parts over here. Just work on different uh, carburetors. Wow. Scales. Different lights. There are all these bikes. Wow. Nice motorcycle here. Model TT, closed cab truck. All reconditioned here. Nice TV cloud. Look at the two person bike up there. Wagon. Look at these uh, restored Model T's. Man, these are really, look really good. Pristine. Nineteen twenty six to twenty seven. These nice big truck. How about the old gas station pump? Got that right here. Can you believe they used to be full of gas? Whoa. <laughs> so the way these gas pumps worked is they would uh, hand pump it full, and when it got up to zero, it would just, there's an overflow tube there, and the gas would flow into that, that overflow, so they couldn't get any higher than zero, but that's how they measured the gas, and so then when they filled up the car, it would go down to whatever number there, and that's how much uh, gallons of gas they actually used. So besides a lot of cool cars here, there is a lot of work that has gone into restoring these and getting them all set up and in these buildings. Okay, so the left pedal on the Model T's all the way down is low. It's spring loaded, so you have to keep it down as long as you want to be in low. Halfway is uh, neutral, all the way up is high. The middle one is reverse, but you have to hold the left one in neutral to stay in reverse, to even get in reverse. Okay. And then the right pedal is the brake. So we are just in a shed here. Everything is labeled. So this is the Model T runabout. And again, he's drove all these in here. They're all up on stands, original tires. It is pretty impressive place. And we're seeing all kinds of things here, just not just vehicles. It's a uh, Look at all these oil cans, different styles. Ford created the assembly line and was the most successful at function at creating lots of vehicles out of this assembly line. And so he created the assembly line process and that's how he created so many uh, vehicles, Model T's and uh, Model A's and the other, the other things. There was uh, other, uh, people involved, uh, including the Dodge brothers, as well as many other people who were, but, uh, who were making vehicles, but only Ford was uh, the vastly successful one. So Ford, two-door sedan, 1936. That's another Model T, or what is this one called? This is a four-door sedan also. This is a this was done by the Dodge Brothers. This is a touring, 1922, $800. Here is another Dodge Brothers. It was an upscale Chevy. There's a Chevy. And there's a touring model 480, $490 new. Rows and rows of automobiles. Look, this one's a tank of some kind. And there are a few tractors around, but I have not found a tractor here that I used to drive, an old Ford tractor out on the ranch all the time. But as far as cars, he's definitely got it all covered. 
He's even got an old water tower set up here along with a windmill to pump the water into it. All right, we are done with the Cloud Museum. There was some pretty cool things in there. Never did find the old tractor I was on when I was a kid in the ranching business, but uh, find everything else. No, I didn't drive any of those cars, but I know my dad who turned 95 used to drive some of those, but uh, what do you guys think of all that stuff? It was really, really cool. cool. Was really cool. Come well and visit. It. Come that, and visit. The motor home was pretty and cool. And <laughs> we just got some fresh tangelos right Ooh. off the tree. Yeah, that's pretty cool too. Uh, only $10, so not a bad deal at all. So we thank um, Mr. Cloud for uh, allowing us to come in here and videotape. Uh, he was a great host. Had, he has answers to everything. You just got to find him sometimes. <laughs> Gets kind of busy. And he drove busy. every one of them on. Yep, he drove every one of them here. So. Well, yeah, that's yeah. That's all the Model said. T's, all the Model T's. There was a couple things that probably didn't. But anyway, yes, yes, yeah. He drove the motorhome here At from Parker. Years old. Oh wow, <laughs> worth a trip out here. Yes, very, very true, very true. So, uh, thanks for following us. Uh, we'll just plan on seeing you guys down the road somewhere. If not, on our next video. So take care. Bye bye. bye. <laughs>